Hey guys, I wanted to show you how you can create your own content for your virtual parties and use Canva and really be authentic and be you in your virtual parties. It's really, really super easy. So what you first should do is, you know, whenever you're dressed and look semi-presentable, um, you can take some pictures of you in your kitchen. So I just took some pictures with Gigi right here was wearing a paint for chef shirt um, and my pictures go into my Google Photos so you can edit them from your phone a lot of times I like to edit them on my computer so some of the things you can do to make your pictures first of all look better is a filter right so I can you can do this on your phone too so let me just go and you know this picture right here right it's silly it's goofy it's not like it's a little staged but it's fun right so um, I always like to um, edit it and use a different filter so you can click the auto see how much better that already looks right um, you can use a filter whatever color you want so I've kind of been digging this one um, you can hit done and then a cropping goes a long way for pictures as well so you can edit and you can crop and again this might look a little different on your computer but should be about the same so here we go so here's one picture I might want to use right so I want to use these tumblers in my virtual party. So um, what you can do is I encourage you guys to just go through your kitchen and take pictures of your products, take pictures when you're making recipes, just keep compiling pictures every time you use a type of paper chef product, or you have a paper chef shirt on, or you're doing something fun, or you're using your products, or your kids are using your products. So you have a library. You can basically create a template that is just your outline, so you're less likely to and in jail. So you can use the template we give you and then slowly start um, eliminating the you know posts that everyone has and using your own. So instead of a Pamper Chef recipe and their picture, you might use a Pamper Chef recipe, but the picture you took off the recipe. Instead of a quick cooker picture from marketing imagery, you use you can use your own words and your picture of a quick cooker. It's okay if it's not perfect, but like just like I showed you, a little bit of editing can go the long way. So Canva.com is free. Um, there's a paid version. I've never used a paid version, and I don't think you need to either. And you can play around with this, okay? So um, there's tutorials if you go on YouTube, but I'll just show you how I would create a picture right now that I want to post in my party. So I'm going to go right here, log in, and go with my Facebook post, right? Um, and say I want to post a Facebook picture. So now it's showing me text. I don't want text. So I'm just going to click on it and hit the delete button. And the first thing I want to do is find a background. So I'm wearing a blue shirt. So I could either go with blue or I could go with something like a yellow just to kind of give it a different background, right? And then you want to go to uploads and upload these pictures um, that you just downloaded to your computer. So this is one, and all you can do is just download it to your computer and then drag it, or you can click upload an image and then it opens your downloads. You can go through your folders and upload whatever you want. So once these are uploaded, you just click on them and it puts it right here. When you click it, if you can move it, you can size it up and down, um, you can turn it, right? So I might do something Maybe I'll keep this one straight. Like I said, you can play with it. It's not whatever works for you. Oops, that's the same one, so we'll delete that one. That's not what I wanted. Um, oh, I actually like this one better, so I might move this to the side, move this over here, maybe move this over there, right? So you can play around with it with different pictures, right? Just be fun, be authentic, be you. It doesn't have to be perfect, all right? Um, so you can add pictures however you want. You can click on text and add different types of text or something that's kind of already looks like fancy. Like I could click on this and then it gives me like a fancy, you know, fancy like way of writing things. I can click on it, edit it however I want. Um, if that's not what I want, I can just, oops, I can just delete this whole thing, right? And I can just click a regular text right here. I can type in, you know, sale on our wine tumblers price, whatever, you know, whatever, um, whatever you want to add, you can change, you can highlight this, you can highlight this and change the color, right, I can make it pink, you can highlight this, um, oh, hello, you can highlight this, you can change the size, you can change the, um, the font, right, you can do whatever you want, so you can make it look and work for you. All right. Um, the other thing you can do that's really fun is you can click on elements um, and you can click on, let's say I want wine, 
right? So I've searched wine. So a lot of these that are pro, you have to pay for it. Like I said, I never paid for it. So I could just use a free glass of wine, right? I could click this picture, maybe insert that somewhere over here, right? So you can search different things. I might want coffee, see what comes up. Oh, free, here we go, right? Good for wine and coffee. So different types of things. And then basically you can change the name of your um, file, however you want to use it. You download it as a PIT, PNG or a JPEG for pictures. And now you have your own image that you can use in your virtual party. So look up some Canva tutorials. I challenge you guys to take some pictures, take pictures of you in your kitchen, involve your family, involve your kids, and make your virtual party template all about you.